Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for the next seven days. So here we are with our three wonderful groups. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you click on it, it's, it's really for then. So, <laughs> you know, whenever you click on it and you decide to watch it, that's when, you know, these readings, these messages are for you. So let's have a look and see. Unless, of course, it has like a month that's tied to it, which this reading doesn't. Um, so this is, yeah, the next seven days. So we have group one here with this beautiful group with this pendulum. By the way, all of these pendulums are on sale on my Etsy store. So if anyone is interested, my Etsy store is linked down below. And these are beautiful purple crystal um, pendulums, which do actually come with a chain. Let me show you actually. I might as well because that's what it comes with. Um, so it comes with a detachable chain. But the beautiful thing here is the chain actually is a bracelet. So you can actually wear the bracelet and it's got all the chakra crystals as well. Um, well, actually these are beads, not actual crystals, but uh, they look like them. Um, so yeah, it's it's really, it's like a multi multi item pendulum basically. So uh, anyways, I thought I'd mention that because I get a lot of questions. Also, the crystals are also on my Etsy store if anyone's interested in those. Anyways, so you've got group one here with this pile. You've got group two here with the affirmations tarot and this beautiful heart-shaped crystal. And then you've got, got group three here as well. Um, so both of these decks are actually the same. It's just that the coloration of them are a little bit different. Um, so yes, uh, whichever group you are most drawn to, that's the reading for you. We're also going to do a charm reading, get lots of other cards out, oracle cards as well. So stay tuned. And also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Also, private paid readings are also down below in the description box. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. So everything is linked down below. And my Etsy store has these pendulums, has beaded bracelets, necklaces, um, charms, letters. A lot of people have seen results with these items. So check out the um, Etsy store link down below. The review section is on there. And I decided to go with a nice purple theme as well. I've got my like fake lavender here as well. Um, so yeah, it's a purpley kind of theme. In fact, a lot of the cards I'm using for the reading as well are purple. So let me show you, let me show you, I'll show you. I have a lot more purple oracle for decks, but these are the ones that I really want to use. So yeah, I've got a nice like purple theme going. All right, that is that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to let you know, timestamps are in the description box below as well, so you can go there, click on your reading, enjoy, watch, um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put my sweater on and then we'll just get to your first group. So let me just move this backwards so I have a bit more space to put the cards down. Let's just put these to the side as well. Alright, group number one, let's have a look and see next seven days, what do we have coming through, what messages can I give to you? <laughs> okay, so we've got here the tarot deck, we also have the crystal as well. Let me finally sit down. Okay, and we've got the pendulum which is available on my Etsy store, so I'm just going to keep this around about there. Let's put the crystal around about there. <laughs> um, for your decoration. All right, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, let's start with tarot, then we'll go to oracle cards, we'll go to um, charms, letters, everything, everything. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Next seven days. The chariot. Some kind of trip, some kind of going somewhere. I know that there is a pandemic right now and not everybody can go places. So take that in the way that makes sense. There's still places that don't have lockdowns and things. So this is still very possible in those areas. Now trips don't have to be long distance. They do not have to be international. It can be something so simple as taking a drive just down somewhere and just having a bit of a, a moment 
you know, you don't have to get out, things like that. So I just want to say that these things can make sense to your situation in other ways. Um, you know, you might decide to just go for a drive. You may decide to take a little uh, trip somewhere. Okay, there's, there's something about a trip. I mean, you might even be thinking of making a trip. So things like that may make sense, you know, you might be thinking about a bucket list, oh, sorry, a lot of cards, I just got really excited there, and they all just like, suddenly came out, you might be making a bucket list of places that you want to head to, I feel like my screen is still a little bit dark, hold on a second, let me turn my light up, because that is, where are we, hmm, that looks alright, okay, so, we've got temperance, which is also about patience, right? Yeah, so a lot of you here are thinking about a trip um, or you're thinking about making one, but then there's also this energy of like, okay, I need to be a little bit more patient. Um, temperance in general is patience. Some of you may feel like you want to do a lot of things and you just want to like do things and you feel like, but I can't do things. And that just makes you want to do things even more. Does, does anyone know what I mean? You know, when you just like want to do things and the world is like no and you just want to do more of it so temperance here is about needing patience right a lot of you might be super impatient during the next seven days because you want things to happen you want to be proactive right it's human nature but the world and the universe is like no we must be patient patience is the virtue or a virtue should i say then you've got the queen of pentacles here as well okay a lot of you are focusing on money aspects or family aspects okay so money and family are top of the top of the top of the line top of the queue okay so, and that's really what i see there and also people are much pro, much more prone to be nicer towards you and to see your nicer qualities especially if you've always felt invisible or if you felt like people just kind of overlook all the good stuff that you do next seven days it's really being picked up on people will start to see you as someone not that they haven't before but they'll start to see you more of, as someone that's just really mature very kind always is very consistent. Okay, then you've got the Eight of Pentacles there as well. Now it's interesting, you know, this, this card, I'm not a huge fan of it because it's got an eight-legged creature on there, which I'm not a fan of personally, but they bring luck. I kind of don't really want to say the word, you know, spider, but yeah, um, it brings you money, it brings you luck, right? So that's the Queen of Pentacles as well. You are very heavily focused here on money-related activities, which is quite significant. And you've got here the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is about you wanting to communicate with people, um, which I, I think is quite significant, but I would say also it's good you want to communicate with people, but calm down just a little bit, um, because some of you um, may be dealing with some retrograde energies, okay, so as I'm filming this video right now, I know I said it's a timeless reading, it is, but some of you might be dealing with like mercury retrograde energies, um, whether it's now or in the future, or just retrograde energies in general, which may slow things down, so just just keep that in mind, you know, you want to do things, right, you want to go after things, knight of swords, you want to get things done, but the universe is telling you, slow down, it's okay, you don't have to do everything all at once, you got this, okay, knight of swords is also about wanting to communicate with everyone and everything, so you may be feeling very talkative, very chatty, kind of, <laughs> okay, and then we've got here the page of pentacles, someone wants to share the truth with you in the next seven days, so there's some kind of truth coming your way, and they're going to share this truth with you, you know, you know that feeling like when someone says, I, I need to tell you something, or I'd like to talk to you about something, or I want to tell you, yeah, I want to tell you something, so <laughs> that's uh, someone sharing their truth with you, could be a friend, okay, could also be a romantic partner, yeah, so also you're working very hard here with the Eight of Pentacles, working very hard in this month. Sorry, in the next seven days. Don't know why I said the month. Well, you could actually be working very hard in general in the month, to be honest. So that's that's not untrue, is it? Um, month coming up, by the way. Okay. Um, we've got the, the star. It really depends when you're watching this, right? So some of you might be watching this right at the end of the month and you might be thinking, yeah, but the month's over. So that would be the upcoming month. If you're in the month itself, then um, of course it means, you know, this month and next month you're working very hard. But in general, it's for the next seven days, which shows that you're working very, very hard over the next seven days. But you're very consistent as well. So you've got the star there and then you've got here the Hierophant and the Two of Swords. So let's just try and push those along a little bit. Okay, so the Hierophant here shows that you want stability, right? 
You want stability, you want security, you want things to come together. This is Taurus energy, of course, and then you've also got Aquarius energy as well with the star. So the star here is about your stars aligning, but it may also feel like things are kind of just like falling through, things are maybe not working out the way you want them to. But remember that reversals sometimes can also be a blessing. Sometimes things may not work out the way you want them to work out because they're just not meant to. And sometimes things can be a bit more challenging, things can be a bit more difficult, things can be a bit more, um, you know, they just don't come together so well because maybe they're not meant to. So I would say here that the star here is about realizing that everything that happens in your life, I feel like you're realizing this over the next seven days, is meant to be. And it may be really hard to digest some of those things, but it's making you stronger, it's teaching you lots of lessons, and also it's aligning your stars in a stronger way. So think about it in that way. And also the Hierophant here shows, you know, that you may be feeling a little bit stubborn at times, but it's also again calling for patience. You know, the Taurus energy is quite slow and it's quite like it moves slowly but surely, but you've also got the Two of Swords, which can be about indecision. And um, the Two of Swords is also such a strong energy, which is um, all about like patience and balance. And it's also about peace at times as well. So I feel like those are the surrounding energies over the next seven days is that you want to get things done. You really want to do things. The universe is saying, you know, it's okay, hold your horses. You know, it's okay to slow down and to take care of yourself, but also um, to know that things are coming together. You know, you may want things right now. You may not get them right now, but they are coming together slowly but surely with time. And I think that's the real big important thing that so many of you want to know. So at least, at least you know, right? At least you know. It is coming. It's okay. Be patient, guys. Next seven days, calling you for some patience. Okay. So let's see what's coming through with a self-care oracle deck. All right, and let's see what is happening with this deck as well. Okay, so we've got here, be still. Okay, so meditation can really help you over the course of the next seven days. Being still, taking some nice deep breaths, stargazing, relaxing, meditating, which I just mentioned, napping. These things can really help you, um, yeah, rest. Rest will really help you, you know, taking some time out, especially for those of you that are always just working, 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 make sure you're taking some time out for yourself and you're looking after yourself. I think it's very, very important, of course. You've also got here chanting as well. So it's interesting, you've got a yoga mat in both of these cards. Um, and you've got, you know, the four and the eight, and that's doubled. Um, so this can be, again, deep breathing, yoga, meditation, um, chanting, you know, mantras, for example. That's a big, big thing can, that can help you over the next seven days as well, just to like relax and patience and things like that. So be patient. See, it says stay the course. Okay, so you're not doing anything wrong in your life. You're on the right path in your life. And the next seven days is teaching you that, you know what, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Um, in fact, you know these yoga mats here, or these mats in general, they really remind me of like the, the road here. It's really interesting. Okay, um, so that's what we're seeing there. And then we've also got these two cards. It says two weeks. Okay, so this basically this two weeks here is really showing um, patience for two weeks but also that after two weeks things significantly improve for you I know this is for the next seven days but it also gives you an idea as to when things do get better okay two weeks from now whenever you're watching the video of course two weeks from that point and then you've got here within a year for some kind of serious celebration which I'm picking up as well so some serious like goal that comes together something like really important that manifests for you and the last thing I want to do for you, well, we're going to do charms and letters, but I also want to get out these beautiful food fortune cards because a lot of you say that the foods in this really relate with you. So for the next seven days, let's see what I see food wise. You know, these could be things that you crave as well um, or that you do eat, for example. Should we go with three? Let's go with three. Okay, so we've got here the trio. So this is like a, um, a sandwich. And look there, you've got another road. So that's really interesting. You've got a road there. You've also got a very similar road here as well. They literally look so similar. Is it just me or do those roads literally, the curves go exactly the same way? 
that is okay that's really that's really interesting <laughs> so yeah we got a sandwich here and um, you've got this road as well that's interesting maybe a road trip like some of you might be taking a road trip here because i did see the chariot um and then you've got here also the straight shooter Okay, you've got like a river here. So this is like going with the flow. This is that Aquarius energy, right? Going with the flow, straight shooter, this is whipped cream. Um, and then you've got here Ace of Sweets. So you've got a chocolate bar. All right, so that's what we have there. And charms and letters. So the, ch uh, the letters can spell out initials for your name, for someone else's name, words that relate to your situation. So let's have a look. Let me just jumble them up. H, C, L, E, P, W, D, O, D, C, oh, <laughs> and an M. Okay, so those are the letters there, and let's have a look and see what charms we have. Okay, let me just move this along. Okay, so for the charms, we have. Okay, got quite a few wooden ones this time, which is quite cool. So we've got here a cloud. Okay, over the next seven days, you may find the weather is cloudy, um, but also. You may feel that in your life things are slow, right? As I mentioned, there's a there's a need for patience. So this is a cloud, but it's got a silver lining. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like it's a metaphor. Is it a metaphor? Uh, I think, you know, something like that. So uh, silver lining to every situation. Think about it that way. Okay, there is a luck. Um, like we mentioned with the star card, the stars are aligning. You may not feel like they are, but they definitely are. So, you know, think about it that way. Um, then you've also got a diamond here as well. So you know, you are becoming stronger over the next seven days and people are also seeing you really for your strengths as well. So people can be so much more prone to being nicer to you. That's the Queen of Pentacles energy and uh, they're starting to see you really shine. So that's coming through there. See, you've got Butterfly as well, Transform and Transformation. So, um, you know, some people might have seen you as a caterpillar. I, Sorry, I, I mean, I don't mean to be like horrible or anything like that, but caterpillars are not that bad, you know, but you may have felt really isolated. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't mean to offend you at all. You know, sometimes I feel like a caterpillar, but anyways, that's for another, like, <laughs> that's another story. But people are now starting to see you for a butterfly. And what I mean by that is people pay more attention to you. They start to see your beauty more. Um, and that's not just outer beauty, but that's also inner beauty, the kind of care and nurture that you give out. So I just want to say that as well. Um, you know, you may have felt like you just felt so isolated, like a caterpillar in a cocoon. Now people see you as this butterfly. All right. So there's a sense of transformation here also with how people treat you. But yeah, basically what I see here is that over the next seven days, you may feel isolated, but people can be so much nicer to you. So again, keep that in mind. You got here love as well. Okay, a lot of you might be focused on love, you may feel really isolated from a person that you have interest in, or you may feel just like, like, what, what is this person doing? You may feel very proactive to communicate and reach out to them, or be more present in their life, but it's like the universe is telling you, just calm down, it's okay, you know, put energy in, in yourself, do what's necessary for you, because that may also trigger them spiritually to do more for you, right, when you do more for yourself. I feel like nobody can see my lavender plant. There we go. Oh, I almost like just knocked it off my table. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realise there's actually a, a curve on my table, which is probably why I didn't actually put it. In front. So there we go. Let's let's do that. Nice. Um. Okay, so we've got here the bird as well, which is really about freedom and flying and having your wings. Again, we've got here the butterfly as well. A lot of you might see um, beautiful birds and butterflies over the course of the next seven days. It's a sign, it's a sign, and it's also a synchronicity to this reading. When you see grey clouds as well, it can also be a sign, although to be honest, that's so vague, right? Because grey clouds could appear at any point, especially if you live in the UK, you'll see grey clouds every single day most likely so <laughs> but it, it can be one of those things okay it can just be especially if you live in a in a place where there's like rarely ever any gray clouds well then that's a sign um you've also got here a picture frame as well see some of you are also like missing someone so 
is what I see there. And then you've also got the letter P as well. So you've got double P's, double C's, a double um, D, no pun intended with that particular last one that I mentioned. But yeah, so that is what we have there. So yeah, that is that is your reading group number one. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course intention items which are on Etsy as well. Um, yeah, everything's down below and yeah, check it out if you're interested. And we will now go to group number two. So let me just take everything away. So let's put these back in here and here. camera Put that right there all right do, 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 do. Alright, group number two, this is your reading for the next seven days. Let's have a look and see what is coming through. So you've chosen this beautiful pile, which is very decorative indeed. You've got the um, crystal pendulums, which are available on my Etsy store if anyone's interested. Uh, the link is in the description box below. Let's just pop it right there. Oh, I just came up with a good idea actually. I should probably use the pendulums in the readings as well. Do you know what? I'll do that another time. Um, we'll keep it consistent with what I did and what I was thinking of doing for this reading anyways. But uh, yeah, that's a, just thought of that now. Like, wow. Moonlight, wow. Okay, and then um, we've got here this beautiful heart crystal. Let's put that right there. And let's see what we have right here. Yeah, I'll use the pendulum for sure at some point in... You know, next reading I do where I have them, so, all right, anyways, <laughs> next seven days, this is a timeless reading, so from whenever you're watching this, it can be for you, let's get eight of these out, so you've got the death card, high priestess, major arcanas, right there, ooh, okay, we've got here the ten of cups, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, holding on to something here, which I can pick up on. Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, and your last card is Let's see. Let me just put this right there. Eight of Swords. Okay. So you're holding on to something here and it's it's really affecting your energy over the next seven days. So um, a lot of you could be holding on to things from the past, especially with this Four of Pentacles, right? Things from the past could be re-triggering certain memories. Things from the past could be re-triggering certain traumas. Uh, things that people have said to you could be also triggering insecurities. It's something that I really see here with that Four of Pentacles, like you're really holding on to certain things. And I don't see this as... I mean, for some of you it could be, but I don't necessarily see this as like material possessions necessarily. It's more so thoughts and feelings and how people have made you feel. Now, it could also be that when you're watching this, there could be a certain moon phase that has happened, which is triggering you or a retrograde that could be triggering you because, you know, people could be watching at any point because it is a timeless reading. But what I will say here is that the Eight of Swords shows you feeling quite trapped amongst these thoughts and thinking to yourself, I don't know which way to turn. If I go left, 
there's pain, if I go right, there is pain, if I go backwards, forwards, up or down, it, there just seems to be pain. What I will say is that you will get through this, all right, for those of you really, really struggling, because you may feel trapped right now, you will not be trapped forever. The uh, death card here shows that frustration. You know, you just feel like, where do I go from here? Death, however, is also transformation, right? You may feel like it's, you're a bit of a dead end. You're not actually at a dead end because there is a natural transformation that happens. And that happens in life where you just feel so stuck sometimes. But life keeps moving forward. Earth keeps going round. You know, it's, it's one of those things that there is a natural progression and natural transformation with that very strong Scorpio energy. Death leads to transformation and rebirth, right? So that's really what I'm seeing here is that you might really be holding on to certain things, but you will naturally move forward. The High Priestess here is about taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself over the next seven days, which I feel you're going to be doing. And it's also about recognizing your beautiful, beautiful qualities. The High Priestess is about sort of two sides, right? You have here night and you also have here day. So always remember that when you think of your insecurities, that's not the only thing that rules over you. You also have your securities, your mo more positive aspects. Focus on those positive aspects too. And also try and look at your weaknesses and think to yourself, okay, well, how can I make that into a strength? Not because you're an egoistic person or a narcissistic person. No, you're not. But because essentially you're trying to boost up your self-confidence and your self-esteem and you're a good person. Okay. That's, that's what I'm seeing. You're a good person. So this here is about you really taking a lot of care of yourself over the next seven days and basically listing out all of those beautiful qualities that you do have, regardless of how other people have treated you. And so the High Priestess is, uh, yeah, again, for those of you that have purple crystals, all right, um, totally recommend it. Lavender, if you have it, keep it around you. Um, it can really make you feel so much better. Amethyst, for example, right? So keep it around you. Um, also, meditating, um, on your chakras can help you a ton. Um, just meditating, meditation in general can really help you. I see a lot of studying. I see also a lot of um, absorbing knowledge. So you might be watching documentaries. You might be super, super into uh, learning about certain things. I see that here. Some of you might be super interested in spiritual paths or even tarot and learning a lot more about divination. So we see the Ten of Cups here as well. So you're, you're really over the next seven days trying to surround yourself by happy things, whether that is people, whether that is a certain like podcasts, documentaries, things that you enjoy to do, foods, for example, you're surrounding yourself with that happiness factor. And the Ace of Pentacles here is, look at that, you know, the heart. That beautiful heart right there. Um, this is you really accepting yourself, loving yourself, caring for yourself. Ace of Pentacles can also indicate some money opportunities. So that's interesting. But the Ace of Pentacles is about you feeling that within yourself as well. The Knight of Swords here shows that you feel pretty prog like you you like progressive, like proactive. You want to get things done. You feel good. You have energy, right? So the more you take care of yourself, the better you feel. And also, when you focus more on your strengths as well, you will start to feel stronger. Now, make no mistake, the universe loves it when we look at our shadow, right? The things that we don't feel so strong about. But when you're only focusing on that there's an imbalance, right? So we want to do everything in moderation. If you think about your your strengths, yeah, it's good to think about your shadow aspects, but don't get stuck in your shadow. That's what I would say, right? Um, because of course, then you won't feel so great and it does the reverse. So Queen of Wands here is about you feeling super strong within yourself. You may be focused on, um, you know, like you might be thinking, I want to change my hair up. I want to change my outfits. I want to change how I feel. You might also be thinking about, um, now, this is obviously personal preference. Some of you might be thinking, oh, you know, I'd really love to lose some weight or I'd like to gain some weight um, or I'd love to, um, you know, just tone up my 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 body a little bit. Um, for others of you, you might be thinking, you know, I want to eat healthier. I want more energy. Um, <laughs> some of you might be focused more on sort of your looks and things like that. Um, obviously, I don't judge anyone. And of course, everyone has their own preferences. Some of you might be thinking about certain like little tweaks that you might want to make to your body. Um, I don't endorse it, but it's a message that's coming through. And I remember I mentioned this like only once before in a reading and so many of you said that it was something you were considering and that was like little like cosmetic procedures. So, you know, obviously I don't endorse that kind of stuff, but it's, it's people's opinions and thoughts and, you know, 
whatever you want to do, but it's, it's a message coming through, so I thought I'd share it anyways, because it could be something that you're thinking about. Not that I'm saying that you have to do it, all right? That's not what I'm implying at all, um, because it's different for everyone. Like, some of you are more focused on sort of your, your looks and how you feel within your looks, and others of you are focused more on, like, the spiritual um, journey and sort of focusing on, on that aspect. So um, remember, it, it will resonate with you in some way, but I'm not telling you that you have to do it just a message coming through. Um, so yes, that's what we've got there. So let's have a look at your next seven days. <laughs> I, I, you know, I personally wouldn't endorse that because I'm so scared of like needles and things like that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's coming through in the cards. So let's have a look. Money matters. Okay, and your next one. Let's get two of these. Got here. All about you. Isn't that true? It is all about you, and that's something that I mentioned here. It's all about you. Da, da, da. Okay, and then money matters. So you're focused here on money or saving up for something. Um, all about you means that you know you are really focused on yourself with this Queen of Wands. You might be focused again on your looks or on how you feel, so your energy, or on your spiritual path, how you feel mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, you know? <laughs> and then from the self-care oracle deck, which also happens to be purple, we have We have soak in a bath. Now, for those of you that don't have baths, you can actually technically do this in the shower. You can also do it with aromatherapy as well. Um, I have these aromatherapy oils, which you like massage onto yourself, and then you um, you go like this, and you take deep breaths in, and then when you shower, all the like essential oils. You can like actually smell it when you shower, it's like really amazing, but I don't know, you, you can actually do things like that in the shower itself. Um, there's so many like shower products these days as well um, that give a similar experience. So I'm, ju I'm just saying, you know, I know that this says soak in a bath, but you can create similar experiences in the shower, even though it's not the same thing, let's say, but you can, you can recreate an experience. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so, but this says soak in a bath, so you know, many of you may choose to do so. You've got some crystals here, some candles. Uh, so lotions and potions. So we've got that there. Also lavender. Okay, totally recommend it as well. You've got a really strong purple theme here. Purple is a colour that can really calm you. Purple is also the colour of luxury. So, you know, we did mention here with the Queen of Swords that you're really taking care of yourself. That is a luxury in many ways because you're so focused on other aspects or other people perhaps that focusing on yourself is, is a true luxury and uh, treat yourself, all right? So we've got here also spend time with friends. Those of you that don't have friends, you can always spend time with your spirit guides and I know that sounds really funny to say, but actually, you know, they're there to help you, they're there to support you. Um, don't be ashamed to ask them for advice, or to ask them for help. So, yeah, you've got the energy here, spend time with friends. Um, so, you know, um, that's, that's what we have there. That's what we've got. If your friends have such mean things about you or anything like that, then obviously, you know, you know best to distance yourself away from them, but we do have that, you know, whoever you consider your friends, like, for example, you know, I would consider, like, my mother my best friend, I know that sounds really bizarre to some people, but, you know, I just do, you know, she gives great advice, and she's always so supportive, and it's like, oh my gosh, you're more supportive than, like, some friends that I have, you know, um, and to be honest, then they're not really, you know, friends, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's like one of those things, like you may have certain family members that you just feel so close to that their advice just means the most to you and they've, you know, just always get, given such great advice. Um, yeah, you know, so that's what we have there. Um, what else? Oh yes, these food fortunes, I need to make sure I don't miss anything out. All right, so we've got here, they came out so fast, let me just put this on the side again. You've got here the delicate one. So that reminds me of like um, a dish called Eat and Mess, but um, basically what it is, is it's a dessert that has strawberries and also cream as well. It's like a, it's like a pudding, I guess. It's kind of like a pudding. Um, but yeah, you might be into like, you know, that could just mean like fruits and whipped cream. A lot of you said that the foods really do help you and it makes a lot of sense. We do also have here wine as well. Um, some of you may not drink. I mean, I don't drink, but you know, you could be, you know, other kind of sparkling drinks or uh, faux 
so alcohol. <laughs> we also have here the holy ones. This is like a toasted um, bagel with some kind of filling on top. It could be cream cheese. Um, but yeah, um, that's that's what I'm seeing here. It's it's more so kind of like um, snacks and, and things like that. We also have grapes there as well. Um, okay, so that's what we have right there. Let's go to your charms now and your letters. So the letters could be initials, um, it could also spell out words as well for your situation. We have got here, oh, look at that. We've got yo. Yo. So you might also be going back and forth like a yo-yo, you know, thinking about certain situations as well. We've got a D, a G, sorry, a D, an E, a J. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Oh, we've got another E as well. Said A. V, V, with a V, a W, hmm, interesting letters this time. Okay, so let's go with the charm. <laughs> Got the bouquet of flowers here, how cute. Three roses, that's interesting. Um, you've got double charm here as well. You've got the two hearts. Yeah, you might... Either you're, you're buying these for yourself or someone here is wanting to purchase them for you. There's, I feel like you're going to get flowers or you may buy yourself flowers. That's what I see with the bouquet, it's like a gift. Um, you've also got these two hearts as well, so it could be again that you're you're connecting very strongly with someone around you because these hearts just fit beautifully together as well. You've got a key here, right? So you're really unlocking some thoughts from the past, is what I really pick up there. But uh, you also have like this self, like soothing energy towards yourself. Again, you've got this dessert energy here as well. Like this could be an ice cream, but you've got like a little cherry on top, so like a little sundae maybe. Um, but yeah, you've got like a pudding here also with fruit, which I think is interesting, or a dessert with fruit. You've got here the letter K as well. We have another A. We have an M. An L. We have an I. Okay, now we've got, yeah, now we've got a lot of letters good. So we've got an I again, so you're really focusing on yourself. You've got here hashtags, so you may be on social media posting photos because you have got a photo frame as well, or you could be looking over old pictures because there's nothing in this frame, right? So you could be missing certain situations, could be triggering memories. So you have got a cloud here, which shows that, you know, you could be quite triggered um, in regards to things from your past. Um, we've also got the heart as well, so that's really on your mind here, is that you could be thinking about certain situations um, from the past or certain people that were around, and time. Give it time, okay? Time is the greatest in terms of healing and in terms of moving forward. And again, you know, things will transform, things will get better, this too shall pass. That's what I really want to mention here as well. Um, so yeah, you have got these flowers. I mean, you know, I also think of this, like some of you, this may re resonate with some of you, may not. Could be that, you know, maybe someone here has um, passed away, so you have to, you know, maybe buy flowers, and, you know, there's like a resting energy. Um, I don't want to scare any of you over the next seven days, but um, this could have been what has happened, and this is then what you do, right, for, for that in the next seven days. Um, but we have got the, the flowers there as well, but it also could be a gift. Um, so yes, that's what we're seeing there for you. Group number two, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on Etsy, including the like pendulum, crystals, etc. They're all on there, charms and letters as well are on my Etsy store, and definitely do take care. So now let's go to group three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carefully move these items away. Let me just take these away. Wow, we've got so many charms, this one, this time. All right, let's put that there.
All right, group three. <laughs> oh, one of the cards is like stuck on my table and I've got so many cards around it. Okay, hold on a sec. I've got a card that's like literally stuck on the table. Here we go. All right. Group number three, hello. Let's have a look and see what is coming through for the next seven days for you. All right, so we are going to have a look. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you click on this reading or you want to watch the full extent of it, that's when it's going to uh, be for. So we've got this beautiful purple crystal. Let's just put that right there. Also, we have this um, beautiful crystal pendulum as well. Um, so we've put that right there as well. It's mainly just a decoration piece. I will at some point start to incorporate the pendulum into the readings as well. Um, I just need to make sure my accuracy with, with it is as good as it is, as good, good as it can be. There we go. Um, so we will get there at some point. Um, so for now, let's have a look and see what's coming through with tarot, charms, letters, oracle cards, and see what we can pick up for the next seven days. And somewhere in the future, we will include the pendulum because it's a lot better than the magnetic pendulum that I have, um, you know, to do, actually do it with the energies. So I'm still working on it and I just want to really perfect it as, as best as possible before I just randomly start using it. Okay, so we've got here the full and we've got the eight of wands. and the Empress. And I only just thought of it as well because I was only gonna use them for decoration pieces, but I was like, you know what? I actually should use them in my readings too. <laughs> but I need to, I really need to like, you know, properly do it. Okay, so you've got the Ace of Pentacles there. You've also got Death card. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. So you've got the Fool, Eight of Wands, Empress, Ace of Pentacles, and Death card. Chariot. Oh my god, got so many cards. Right, okay, I'm going to take top card, top card. Okay, so that one. Oh, I just saw that one as well. Okay, that one, that one, that one. Everything else can go back in because I have not seen it, but we saw the other one as well um, when I was moving it. So, Chariot, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the world. The world. Wow, I really like this color a lot. Well, this is like a greyish purple, but then the rest of the cards like super purpley. It's a really nice vibe. It actually really goes nicely with this crystal because it's like bluish, greyish, and then you've got these like purple veins in it as well. Wow, that goes really nicely with this deck. All right, I've noted that down for future readings, <laughs> for the aesthetic purposes. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that the Fool represents a journey and so does the Chariot. So I see you thinking about making some kind of journey or going somewhere. Um, whether it happens or not, I feel like this could be a spontaneous journey. So that's something that could be last minute is what I'm picking up. Now, there is a pandemic and things like that. So it could be that you're thinking about a journey, but I do feel like there is something about a journey that is on your mind, which I'm seeing here. The Death card shows it could be that this gets gets cancelled, delayed, postponed, so keep that in mind. Um, the death card here shows some kind of cancellation of something, um, or something being postponed, which might just make you feel like, oh, why, 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 why? Why does that have to happen to me? Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of emotional energy surrounding that because it makes you feel frustrated. It's like you really wanted to do this particular thing, or you wanted to go to this particular place, and it gets cancelled, it gets postponed, and you're like, no, you know, it's, it's one of those kinds of vibes. And then of course you've got here um, the chariot, which is also emotional energy, right? So you've got Scorpio, 
right, which is very emotional. Then you've got here the chariot, which can be, again, really emotional, a lot of thinking. You've got the queen of cups, again, a lot of emotional energy, vulnerability, feeling like, why are these things being cancelled? Because it could be multiple things being cancelled here. The queen of cups is also about acceptance. It's also about being vulnerable and being okay with being vulnerable. And then the king of pentacles is kind of getting over it and, uh, just being like, okay, well, more opportunities will arise. Because the Ace of Pentacles shows you have more opportunities with this particular thing that gets cancelled or delayed that are going to come your way. Now, some of you may also feel like really hot and cold with a person that you're talking to. Um, when I say you might feel hot and cold, you may feel hot and cold because of the fact that they might be hot and cold towards you. So that makes you feel hot and cold. It makes you feel really like cold feet-ish. Um, that's what we're seeing. The full also is showing a lot of spontaneous energy from what I can pick up on. So that's something that I really see here um, significantly. So yeah, the, the full here shows a lot of spontaneous energy, like you really want to do things. And, you know, to be honest, in a pandemic, when things are happening, it's like when you feel like you can't do something, it's like you want to do it more, it's, it's human psychology, the same thing goes with people that are hot and cold towards you, it's like you you just feel like you want to prove something, you want to do something more, you want to talk to them more, things like that, um, it's almost like you're trying to like prove something, you know what I mean, so it could be that you know you just feel like this urge to do more when you feel like you can't do certain things and that's something that's really coming through quite significantly. Eight of Wands here, um, a lot of messages, lots of communication. Again, you are very tempted to do a lot of things um, and you're tempted to really get things done. Um, again, there's that energy of like wanting to do something quite significant, like, you know, moving or traveling or, or something. And it's like, it just doesn't quite happen for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry it doesn't happen for you. But I mean, you know, <laughs> it's one of those things, right? It's one of those things. Um, and then, of course, you have got the um, Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So this shows here stability and security in your home life. All right. So this shows you being more in your home. It also shows you being very, very focused on your finances and your money related situations and also searching for opportunities because the world card here again this is an energy of travel You've got a lot of energy around travel it's like you you really want to travel you want really want to do things but it's like you're very optimistic about things as well um which is you know not a bad thing but i do feel like something's going to get cancelled or delayed here you might also be making a bucket list and things like that um but the world card here also shows a lot of stability in your home life right this is about the structure and the discipline in your day today, life, your routine. Um, so that's what I'm picking up with this world card is there's a lot of energy that's really surrounding um, your day to day like situation. And um, the structure of your nighttime routine, your morning routine, uh, getting things done. And then also focusing a lot on your home life. So you might be thinking about, okay, well, I would like to, you know, in the future, I'd like to move. So maybe I would like a better career. So you might be searching again in the world, right, for a better opportunity and things like that. You also have the Empress as well. So this is you feeling pretty connected to yourself. Um, you want to be as proactive as possible. You want to do as many things as possible. You're definitely searching for opportunities, but you're also looking after yourself, which I think is important. But yeah, there's a lot of spontaneous energy that's coming through here. Like you really want to get things done. And also there could be someone here that's being hot and cold towards you, which makes you want to be hot and cold towards them. Because you're looking after yourself still, regardless. And I feel like there is a sense here of acceptance and something being delayed, which really annoys the heck out of you, which I see here. All right, so let's go with the self-care oracle deck, see what's coming through. Okay, let's take these two. They flipped over. I mean, these ones also came out, but I don't know what they are. And there's so many of them. There's three of those. Let's take those, these ones. There's three of these, but I, I saw that top one. All right, and let me just, whilst I'm at it, let me just shuffle these ones out as well. This is called the Reconciliation Deck, but actually it's it's got messages that can really apply to day-to-day -day life as well. Let's take, let's take those, I just don't know why. I felt so drawn to them, so like sticking out the deck. Okay, let's have a look. See. Mm -hmm. 
write a gratitude list. I did mention, like, did I mention that you might be writing, like, you might be thinking of places you want to go? Well, here's the universe telling you, think about all the places you have been. You know, it's, it's like gratitude. Gratitude for the things that you've done, gratitude for the things that you have. When you do that, the universe is like, wow, okay, you like what I'm giving you or what I gave you before. I'm going to give you more. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit like when someone gives you a gift, right? You may not necessarily like what the gift is. I mean, some of you may really love it, but you may not like it. But then that can trigger the person to be like, okay, well, then I'm never going to gift you anything again. Or if you, you know, if you have gratitude, they might be like, oh, well, I'm going to give you an even bigger gift now. The universe does a very similar thing, right? When the universe gives us something and we're like, no, I don't want that because I want that, you know, the universe will be like, okay, well, great, I'm not going to give you anything now. But then when you're like, oh, you know, this is really not what I expected, but I, I feel so grateful, universe, that you gave this to me. It could be something so small in your life, right? The universe will be like, I'm going to give you even more because you're grateful. See, something so simple as that, like an analogy, is very similar to how the universe does things too, right? So um, I definitely recommend a gratitude list. Also, fives are all about change uh, and transformation. So that can really help in your situation as well. We've got here, take a walk. Take a walk. Yeah, so when you have more gratitude, the universe can put more on your plate. It can be a really great thing to do, especially when things get delayed, cancelled, postponed. Remember that it could be also that you're protected from other events that could be not so great for you. So, you know, take it in that sense as well, is that sometimes what tends to happen is that we may think that certain things are good for us and the universe is like, oh no, you might get hurt even more in that situation. So sometimes, you know, um, seeing things from that perspective, like, okay, maybe that particular thing got cancelled because maybe there was a big unforeseen event that could have happened in that area, but the universe is protecting me, that's why I'm not doing that. You know, keep that in mind as well. Okay, so taking a walk, uh, take a walk, that can be really great to refresh your mind, your energy, how you feel, and things like that. So I would definitely recommend taking a walk. Take a walk can be great for you, um, for your energy, vitality. You've got a lot of nature here when all of these cards can help to open up your heart chakra. And connecting with mother nature and earth in general can really help to bring healing as well. So that really helps you with your highest self. Um, so that's really great. And then you've got here, spend time with animals, whether you have pets yourself or whether you are someone that likes to hear uh, music, you know, like birds chirping in the background kind of music, rainforest music. I used to do this a lot when I used to study, actually, um, listening to whale music. It's, it's surprisingly very therapeutic. But yeah, spending time with animals. You might be watching animal documentaries. You know, technically you are kind of spending time with animals. I have a parrot, so I spend time, you know, with him, talking to him, because he talks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's that energy coming through too, or message, should I say. And then you've got here, minor setback. Isn't this literally what I just talked about, right? This card didn't actually come out. It, it was like dangling on the edge of the deck, and I was like, I need to pull that particular set of cards out. There they were, minor setback. So something here is getting delayed, like I mentioned. It's literally what I just talked about, so... I won't, I won't ramble on about it too much, but uh, yeah, something here is being delayed. Um, you know, you've got this palm tree here, so it could have been maybe a holiday that you were wanting to hopefully have, or a trip, or um, just something, you know, maybe it could have been something local, but uh, it's not quite happening. You also have a no here as well, so you're being denied or barred out of something to happen, which is interesting. Again, like, you just can't make this up, to be honest, but there it is, right? There it is. And then you've got here mommy issues as well. So someone could be having some mother motherly issues, or mommy issues, let's say. It could be you that's having mommy issues, but this is for like males and females. Now, if you're a male, like someone could be having mommy issues, um, but you know, you might have issues maybe with your mother or some, yeah, just, you know, that will resonate in some way, shape or form. I'll let you find out how it resonates because there can be so many ways, you know, in that sense. But yes, yeah, someone could be having those issues or it could be you. Um, so yes, don't panic too much that there is a setback because these setbacks can sometimes actually lead to uh, other things and uh, right now it's calling for you to have more patience uh, within yourself and your own energy. So that's what we have there. Okay, so let's go to charms and letters. So the letters can be initials, can also be certain words that resonate with your situation. Okay, so we've got a Z. A, F, O, 
know it's upside down, but hey. <laughs> OL X Y A C B and a D. Oh, there we go. <laughs> perfectly so there we go those are your letters and for the charms we've got actually quite a lot oh first thing I see here is the shoe this is like a sneaker or a trainer as we call it in the UK um, so taking a walk jogging hiking I see that energy right there could even be you know getting your um, workout shoes on um, we've also got here love as well okay so again there could be a delay in regards to love we also see the dog, which is about loyalty as well, right? You could feel bad because you just feel a lot of loyalty. The star here is about healing. Um, star is also about the heart chakra, which we mentioned before. So have faith, okay? Have faith that it's going to be okay. Um, we've also got another love charm as well. So there's definitely something very strong in regards to love that's coming through here. Um, we've also got the scissors as well. So you may be forced to like cut a plan short or a plan doesn't quite work out. Um, or there is like a cutting of the energies here, um, temporarily I feel. Got a U, okay, we've got here an I, so a lot of emphasis on yourself. Um, you might feel like, okay, well I guess I got myself now, you know? <laughs> so that's an energy coming through here, there is a cutting. So some of you may have gone through maybe a separation where it leads to healing, but um, for a lot of you this is like a delay that I'm seeing. You've got an M as well. You have, you're the best which is quite interesting. So this is really about like putting yourself first and taking care of you first. Um, you've got here this beautiful heart with these sequins on it. So it's like a little unicorn heart. So this is about recognizing the worth that you have. And you've got a purple crystal. Ooh, just to add to all of the other purple crystals we have. It's interesting actually, because on the pendulum, it's pretty much the same kind of crystal um, as we see right there. So if you have any purple crystals, keep them around you. It can really help with healing and how you feel from within yourself. But what I will say as well is that you might see a lot of purple throughout the next seven days as well. It's encouraging you to heal, but also to take care of yourself. Purple is also a color of luxury. And for us, luxury sometimes is taking care of ourselves. You know, because some of you may be super, super busy focusing on so many other things, so many other people, that you may be neglecting your own personal sense of self or sense of self-love, let's say. Um, so yeah, you've got here some like worries and, um, but what I will say is that this too shall pass. You know, the scissors here is really um, encouraging you to be okay, I guess, with what is happening. Sometimes, you know, it's okay not to be okay, but I also feel here that there is a sense of healing here. There are some delays and setbacks, but it will get better as time goes by. So don't, I want to say don't worry. I know it's such a cliche thing to say, mm -hmm. Um, but you're totally entitled to feel how you do feel as my stomach is rumbling. But what I will say here is that it's almost like this is happening for a reason, right? These setbacks are happening because there is some form of protection around you. So sometimes we don't really understand that and we're like, mm, what protection, you know, like what, what could have happened? But yeah, sometimes we don't realize that, but sometimes things happen for a reason and we just have to, you know, we have to deal with the circumstances. Um, but yes, that's what I'm seeing here is that there's a lot of emphasis here on healing, self-love, yourself, looking after yourself, putting yourself first. Um, that's really going to help you all around. And um, I think that the next seven days is really focused really heavily on yourself for now um, because there's some kind of trip, travel, journey that is being delayed and there's a minor setback. I'd say it's not a major setback, it's minor, which means it can happen at some point future. Remember I said it's temporary, it's not completely solid, solidly a problem. So that's what I'm picking up on. So I really hope that helps you and I hope that gives you um, a ton of clarity in that sense. But it's so interesting how the literally the same crystal came out that's in the pendulum. So it's a little star, and you've got a star here as well, which is about having faith, right? Have faith that things work out. Have faith um, that you will you will feel better with all of these sort of issues and challenges that arise um, in the situation. Meditating on your heart chakra, meditating on your crown chakra, and also your third eye can really help you throughout the next seven days as well to feel a lot better within yourself. Um, Keeping things like lavender can help. Um, what I also think of as well, because I live in the UK, is like Cadbury's dairy milk. It's like very, very purple. But, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. 
just things like that that just come through my mind. But uh, yeah, I see. I keep seeing a lot of purple. Um, granted, almost everything on my desk right now is purple with all the cards that I use. Um, also, I just forgot as well to get the Food Fortune cards out. Oh my gosh. So let's just go with those. I had a feeling I was missing something because I was just looking around. I forgot to get your Food Fortune cards out. Let's do this right at the end. Okay. So this could be foods that you really crave or that you eat throughout the course of the next seven days. So you've got here the Vietnamese. All right, so you've got here this, um, oh, I know what this is called, but I forgot because I've actually had one before. Um, it's like a, a roll with some like food in it. Could also represent like baguettes or sandwiches, paninis, things like that as well. I know it says here Vietnamese because it could also mean Vietnamese type food. And we've also got here Queen of Drinks. So we've got here some wine or any kind of like sparkly wine-like drinks because some of you may not drink. Um, we've also got here Knight of Sides, so you've got here some kind of potato side, so you've got the spuds there as well. Okay, and we've got here as well King of Drinks, alright, so this could be coffee, but it also could be hot cocoa, so I thought I'd just mention that as well. Um, it's more so coffee, but again, it could be hot cocoa, because not everybody, again, drinks coffee, and uh, it reminds me of hot cocoa as well. <laughs> so that is what we have. Hopefully, you know, if this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and do take care. All the information for private paid readings is down below in the description box below, as well as the free reading giveaway. Etsy store is down below. There's crystals, letters, charms. Um, there's also the pendulums as well. On sale there there's so many items actually on my Etsy store so do check that out everything's linked down below and take care everyone bye